This video is another in the series of how to use Notability for the iPad. And this video is looking at how to you handwrite notes. So let's open Notability and create a new note. So I'm going to put this note inside the settings subject of uh, iPad Beginner. So it's going to create a new note. I can change the uh, name of the note here. Now the tools at the top here, this is the text tool and I've looked at how you actually type notes in a, another video in the series, so see the description for that link. So tapping there will actually allow me to type the notes. What we're looking at today is how do you handwrite notes. So you have a, a pencil tool here, you have a highlighter tool, the eraser, and the scissors, which will cut the text, and you can move it around. So to start, let's just tap the pencil tool. Tap it again, and tap and hold it, and you have the options of uh, different color and different size pins, so to speak, whether you use your finger or your stylus. So if I select the thick pen, you can see the thickness of the line and change a color and then draw something, you can see how thick that is. So maybe that's useful for drawing some shapes, uh, but not for actually writing notes. To write notes, probably quite a small pen, change the color. And I'm doing this with a stylus, then you can write on the screen. To erase what I've just written, erase a tool and just rub at it and it will take everything away. Anything that's been handwritten will disappear. Select the pencil tool again. Now writing notes can be they can be quite large if you write them just directly on the screen. So let's just have a, another go. So we'll change to blue. Uh, change a different pen thickness and then write something. So if I'm taking notes in a, a lecture or something, uh, I can write quite quickly with the stylus. That's this written with the stylus. This is writing it with my finger, and it doesn't have the same precision of control of what you write. And it's very large. Uh, now I can go back into a different color and make the pen thicker and you know, underline it and, and maybe highlight it. You can do all, all, whatever you want with the color pens. But to me, it's not very useful if I have to write a lot of notes uh, to have it that big. Now, luckily, they have a tool, a zoom tool, that will allow you to write large, but it will appear quite small. And this is down here at the bottom. There are two things down here. The, the hand is a wrist guard. So if I put that up there, it will protect, and I'm, and I'm writing something, it will protect the lower half of the screen from my wrist from accidentally putting some marks on the page. Now, if you're a left-hander, this is for the right-handed one, so when you're writing with your right hand, your wrist is resting at that bottom. If you're a left-hander and you wanted to use this, we need to go into the settings. So back to the menu, settings, and go into left-handed mode, and then done go back into that notes and now you notice that the toolbar is at the very bottom of the screen and that if I put down, pull down the wrist guard because the left hand is right with their wrist uh, resting at that uh, up at that top angle so if you find that your toolbar is down at the bottom of the screen instead of the right you have left-handed mode turned on so we'll change it back and let's get rid of the wrist guard, just pull it down. The other thing here is a zoom tool. So if I touch that, this is presenting me now with a little box up here. I can move it around. And when I move it over some existing handwriting, I can see the size of it. I can keep moving it down to a new spot on the page. And now if I write, I can write in this large section at the bottom of the screen. So let's write the same thing in that bottom space. So I can write large and it appears and I'm just going to keep writing and it just keeps going and the box keeps moving. 
and with my finger or a stylus I can actually make the box bigger if I wanted to make it a little bit bigger so give me more space to write in uh, the right arrow here will move it along moves the box along to the next spot the carriage return will put it into a new spot but it's allowing me to write notes with a stylus as large as I like but once they appear in that box they're much more precise so let's just do a different color and write something else and I'm writing it with a stylus because it's just more comfortable for me and as I get to that green section it just keeps moving over and you can write you can change colors as you're doing it and it just keeps moving along with a full stop and you can move the box just with the finger to another position this way or I can use these arrows left and right arrows to actually do it for me and then when you want it to uh, get rid of it to make it disappear tap it again and it will go now highlighting same color Let's just change the color and maybe highlight what I've written highlight over here so highlighting same as you would with a highlighter pen you could switch between the, the handwriting with the, with the pen just write a word and then highlight it in a different color so maybe a green I want to highlight that word so I mean this combination of, of handwriting highlighting and typing uh, you can write some very sophisticated notes and you can also import PDFs and annotate directly over the top of them which will We'll look at in, a, in the, the next video. Uh, now I can type some stuff within this too, so I might want to go back here, uh, insert a sticky, and type some notes in. So it gives me a text box that I can move around, and it's a typing one, so I can type in some notes. And now I might change the font to, to noteworthy, different color. And now it'll be keep typing. Turn that off. Now I can move that around. I can wrap text. If I had any other type text, it would wrap around it. Change the paper. So inside that, maybe I want a different color or have some lines or something. Make it a bit smaller by dragging those, those blue uh, handles. Move it around. So I can have typed notes as well as handwritten notes and perhaps all I wanted to, to use the handwritten notes for would be to maybe do an arrow to emphasize something or to draw a box around something to emphasize it and some of this annotation you might do when you finish taking notes and come back and you're trying to make sense of what you've written and you can combine that also with audio notes so up in here for the audio notes Whatever I'm saying is now recording, and uh, when I stop that, play it back. Now, to move up and down the page, you need to use two fingers, two fingers to scroll up and down the page. If I use one finger, it thinks I'm trying to write something, and it gives me a, a line, and I need to hit the eraser and erase those. So two fingers to scroll up and down the page, and then you can add different media. So up here, you can add the photo, either take a photo or uh, take a photo from your camera roll so I could take a photo and the only thing I've got to take a photo of is the cat who's making a nuisance of herself I can use that photo and put that into the notes and I can resize it tapping it with the blue we'll resize it uh, edit take me into an edit um, where I can crop it perhaps move that off and done you can add a caption as well and the font of the caption has been set in the settings where you set the font size and style of that caption and then with the with the pen 
you can change the color, change the thickness and, and draw a board around it. What you want to do with it. Or another arrow. Or you can write some notes in between that. So next to it or underneath it. Um, picking this up and moving the text box, the page up. Put down, I can start to write something in there. And you can you can write hand write underneath that and then move it around where you want it to go there's all these other things that you can do with other media so you can take photos you can use existing photos you can get a web page and you have all these stickies think of stickies as as text boxes so anything the first three there the blank the lines and the grid you hand write into those so if I picked a aligned one and it gives me a little text box with some lines if I wanted to write in the lines I could then select the little box put it in the line and write from there so it stayed in the lines and how successful you are there will depend on the thickness of your pen I can just move that down to the next line if I wanted to be a bit more precise. I can change the paper so it's got lined paper, but perhaps I wanted it as a different colour, different colour, and different thicknesses of lines. So let's make it, make it green, but I actually want quite small lines. And so you can make them the, the lines different thicknesses. Other stickies are lines. And a blank one. So you can actually just do whatever you want in that one. And the other sticky is a grid. And good for doing some graphs. And a typed one. So in this one, you actually can type in it, typing into that sticky. So they consider them as text boxes, but you can move them all around. You can make them bigger. They can be you know, on top of each other as these ones here, and you can separate them again with borders by drawing around them, the thicknesses, so you can actually see the, the separation. This uh, multi-page view, so you can see all the different pages. So instead of scrolling with two fingers up and down, the notes you can also see down here down here this is page two of three and we're on page two at the moment because of the, the blue thick line indicates that's the page we're on and i can bookmark a page by tapping on a bookmark and then by tapping the bookmark here i will just look at bookmarked pages all pages tap the white and search for specific text and I know it'll find typed text so if I was to switch to typed and type something is asleep and I could search for this word asleep and see if I find it so I'll move up to another page and search for the word asleep search and it has found that word and it's highlighted that word we make that bit big it's highlighted the word it's found it and i don't know if it'll find handwritten notes let's pick a, a word fog and search for it doesn't find it doesn't find the handwritten stuff but it finds the typed so having them both may be a good idea. Once you've finished with your note, if you go back to the, the menu, the note is sitting inside the iPad beginner category. So if I open that, it's in the settings uh, subject and it's here. So it can stay there, but if you want to back it up, you might share it and select the note to share tap that again you might share it to google drive and 
I want to save it as a PDF. Yeah. And perhaps put it into a folder. So put it into whatever folder you've already set up in Google Drive. Now I've only got one that I can really use, so I'll put it into photos and export to photos. And I'll send it to the Google Drive. And this note will be then exported to Google Drive as a PDF that you can then use as a backup, or you can print it, or you can uh, annotate it, whatever you want to do with it. I'm going to Google Drive and it should be in the photos folder and there it is the handwrite notes pdf so you can open that in google drive as a pdf and now you've got a backup of your notes so they're the notes and they look exactly as they did in your actual uh, notability notes so uh, it's now a backup